Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. Hey guys, welcome to another show. I'm Pitmaster X and today I'm gonna show you how to make some money. This is what I'm talking about. A big chunk of meat and this is going to save me a lot of money. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You see, you got these steaks, like this one's for my freezer. This is a giant, beautiful Wagyu ribeye. Look at that, I gotta get that frost off. Intramuscular fat, insane. Flavors, insane. But this cost 300 euros. That's also insane. Now, if you want, you can get something cheaper, like this. This is a T-bone. And an absolutely fantastic looking steak. Really cool. And it's a lot cheaper than the one that I just showed you. But still, this is rather expensive. And let me tell you why. Because butchers, even online butchers, buy their meat like this. And then cut them up into steaks, vacuum it, and sell it to you. That means he has to work for you and you have to pay him for it. And today, all of that ends. I'm gonna show you how to make things cheap and save some money. Because this is a lot of meat and it's very cheap. This is a 5.2 kilogram ribeye in one piece. It comes from the Aberdeen Angus breed, has great flavor and a good amount of intramuscular fat. I bought this beautiful piece of meat at my local wholesaler for a whopping 265 euros and 10 cents. This may seem expensive, but by investing a larger amount, you can save a lot. Let me show you what I mean. Step one of saving money starts by buying your meat at the local wholesaler. You must have a friend or know someone that owns a business. This way you can buy your meat at wholesale price. Step two, cut the steaks yourself. I like mine two fingers thick. It keeps them nice and juicy on the grill. And I'm able to get 11 steaks out of this whole ribeye. Now I can divide that 265 euro and 10 cents by 11 which brings the price of my steak to 23 euros and 28 cents. If you would buy that same steak online or in a shop, you would pay 33 euros and two cents. That's nine euros and 74 cents more. For 11 steaks, that amounts to 107 euros and 14 cents. And that's a lot of money. Now, of course, you have to take into consideration that there's a lot of quality difference in meat, even within the breed or the processing plants. So don't compare based on online pictures. Make sure you see the ribeye and the ribeye steaks yourself before you make the comparison. Look at that. Now I may look like a greedy person, but I love my steaks. And the more steaks I have at my disposal in my fridge, I can just take them out. I don't have to go to the store. Another friend coming over, boom, I got another steak for them. Look at that, that's so cool. All of that while saving money, how cool is that? Now let's fire up a Kamado Joe Jr. and grill this steak. Our Joe Jr. is up to temperature, we got that nice charcoal glowing red hot. Look at them. Look at them small flames just jumping up from the charcoal. That's a good amount of heat. Time to put the grill grate on. There we go. Nice and hot. I always check with my hands like that. So that, that's how you know this is nice and hot. This is me too, you know. If this starts cooking, you know the temperature's right. Of course, there's a smarter way to check that. My beautiful ribeye, ready for me to be cooked. Look at that beautiful ribeye. Straight out of the vacuum. It's like, it feels kind of like homemade steak. Felt like I'm, I'm giving birth to it, you know? This is like my steak. I cut this, I vacuumed it, I saved it. Now I get to enjoy it. So there we go, straight onto the grill. Now all I'm going to do with this two finger stick steak is let it sear and then it's going to shrink up. It's going to tie up together. The fat's going to melt. Give us all these flare ups. And once we got a beautiful crust on one side, we're going to flip it over to the other side. And then already our steak is gonna be done. I'm not looking for like a medium rare. I'm looking for that nice rare with this steak. We got some intramuscular fat, but not that crazy amount that we got on these Wagyu steaks, which I like to cook a little further. This is beautiful meat and I want to actually be able to taste it.
<laughs> what a beautiful steak. Nice sear mark, nice crusty, crunchy outside. Look at that, what a beauty. Let's grill the other side. Now I can see that I get up a crust really quick, but it's actually going a little too quick to be able to cook the steak properly. So I'm closing the lid, opening the top end a little bit, and thereby I'm giving it some more time to cook the center. And the way that this works is that all of the heat that we just saw, we trapped inside this ceramic barbecue. So we created an oven. And what that does is all of that heat's coming down on that steak, cooking it from all sides and making it taste absolutely perfect. And our beautiful steak is done. Look at that crust. Oh, oh, oh so gorgeous. I'm taking it off at a core temperature of around 52 to 54 degrees Celsius. And now I'm going to let it rest, sprinkle on some of my favorite salt, fleur de sel. And of course I gotta have some ground pina pepper on top of it. There we go. Now you might be wondering, hey Master X, you're seasoning afterwards, what are you doing? Yes, for the guys that's been watching my channel for a long time, know that this is my preferred way to do it. If I season it afterwards, you get that crunch, you get that experience of these fresh herbs, salt and pepper. And it really punches you in the face, it wakes you up. It's like drinking black coffee. I enjoy that. Some people like milk, cream in their coffee. So go ahead, put salt on it beforehand. I'm not like that. I want my steak to be raw and rough. Look at it. Does this look like I just saved a lot of money? No, 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 no. It looks like I spent a lot of money. Well, actually I did spend a lot of money, but in the process I saved a lot too. It looks beautiful. I just want to eat it. That's the thing that, that runs through my mind and, and I am. Let's see how this thing tastes. Mm. Mm. Oh man. I just made a great investment. I bought a beautiful piece of meat. It's super tender, it's super tasty, super juicy, and I saved money. It's just an amazing steak. And you have these horrible supermarket steak for 10 euros, seriously. If the, 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 the bosses of the, the supermarkets in, in the Netherlands are watching, you know who you are. I know, I know where to find you. You know what, you, what you've done. You're selling steaks that are horrible for 10 euros. This is 10 euros more. It's actually twice the weight already, and it's beautiful. And this is something, if you never tried this before, fresh garlic, like shaven so thin, it's like super, super tasty, but super expressive. Just put it on your steak, you're gonna love it. Ah, what are you doing? I'm trying to get a, a little extra, like a, Ooh, the smell. Yeah, I'm trying to give you like an experience here. Just like if you were to be like in a normal situation, like yeah. in a, where you serve it in a house, yeah. with like a little bit of lit uh, thyme and rosemary, just like boop, 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 boop. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And it actually works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, no. I just touched something burnt with my steak. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. I, I just touched it. So we didn't cook the garlic, we didn't cook the rosemary in time, mm -hmm. but we just fired it up, touched it, smacked it a little bit, mm. and then we stuck it in our mouth. We got the salt on afterwards, we got the pepper on raw, we got the rosemary in time, we got this like, Wah! and the flavors are screaming at you. They're saying, Morrison, wake up! If you're looking to save some money, this is a great way to do it. Look, I got a big dog. I got a lot of steaks that I need to give out. I got a hungry cameraman. So this is a great way to save some money. Buy a great vacuum machine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, then 
like our video, leave us a big thumbs up. That's right. Comment big down below, perhaps, maybe. Yeah. That know. would be awesome. Could be. Big thank you to our patrons and the YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smarter. And keep on grilling steaks. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Cheers. <laughs>